The Acer Aspire VX15 is a budget gaming laptop that allows for 1080p gaming with high settings and also for some basic content creation. But if you consider to buy this laptop in 2018, you should definitely watch this review not to overpay and wisely choose a laptop that will give you the best bang for your buck. In this video we will find all about Acer Aspire VX15, as well as gaming benchmarks and comparison to the competition's gaming laptops from the same price range. In the description you will find Amazon links to easily find the laptops that I talk about, and the timestamps to skip to any part of this video. Alright, without further talking, let's jump into the review. At the first look, VX15 looks like a typical black and red gaming laptop, but I find it a little bit different. It has plastic top panel with a texture of brushed aluminum, two red lines on both sides, the Acer logo in the middle and nice looking silver hinge. Comparing to other gaming laptops, VX15 looks great, especially on the back where you can find two big exhausts with empty space between them and silver hinge above. Every corner of this laptop is cut at an angle that makes it look smaller and slim. The chassis is made out of plastic that is pretty solid. It has a little bit flex on the keyboard, but typing on it still feels comfortable. The keys have 1.6mm travel distance and you can turn on the red backlighting by pressing function key and F9. The big surprise for me was the frame around screen. It looks like this is the same kind of plastic as in Predator Helios 300, but in VX15 it has no flex and it doesn't creak when you open the laptop. The hinge is also pretty solid and after one year of use, it still works well. Accidentally I managed to measure the durability of this laptop when my brother stepped on it twice and dropped it from bed few times also by accident. Despite that, VX15 still works well and there is no any damage on display or chassis. However, I do not recommend to test it this way. Let's move on to the touchpad that honestly feels cheap. Clicking or tapping on it is not so satisfying but at least it's precise and easy to get used to. It uses Windows 10 precision drivers. If you buy a gaming laptop you will probably use an external mouse, so in this case the touchpad is just enough to use it occasionally. Also the good thing is that it doesn't show fingerprints. In terms of port selection, on the left side you have security lock, charging port, USB 2.0, full-size SD card reader and 3.5mm audio jack. On the right side you have Ethernet, HDMI, 2 USB 3.0 and 1 USB 3.1 Type-C but no Thunderbolt 3. To open the bottom panel you have to remove 14 screws. Inside you have two memory slots, you can go up to 32GB of RAM. On the left there is M2 SSD and below we have 2.5 inch SATA drive bay. If the brackets and cabling is not provided, Acer will supply these to you if you want. The display is 60Hz Full HD IPS panel with 65% of sRGB color reproduction and 270 nits of brightness. The viewing angles are decent being IPS, but keep in mind that this is a budget gaming laptop. However, for gaming and some basic content creation, this is a good display. The sound is coming out of two speakers located on the front of the laptop. It is loud enough and clear. You can customize the sound or use the presets in Dolby Audio software. Now, there is few different configurations of Acer Aspire VX15, but it's actually hard to find the cheaper ones now in 2018. The unit I am reviewing is equipped with the GTX 1050Ti, i7 7700HQ processor, 16GB of RAM, and 256GB M2 SSD. This setup provides enough power to play a lot of popular and demanding titles with 1080p resolution and up to high settings. Here you have few examples. Alright, now when we played for a long time we need to make sure that our laptop didn't burn, so I think the temperatures on GPU and CPU are acceptable. Even when gaming for a long period of time, VX15 keeps the temperatures at maximum 85 degrees. It has two fans that work pretty well but you can't control the speed of them. The battery life is good for a 15 inch gaming laptop. It lasts about 4.5 hours with full bright screen when doing light productivity work like browsing the web and using not demanding programs. When gaming, battery dies after 1.5 hour. To be honest, it's hard to find gaming laptop with longer battery life as all of those use a powerful hardware that consume a lot of power. 
Alright, so the main question of this review is, is the Acer Aspire VX15 still worth buying in 2018? In my opinion, no. And according to that, I prepared a list of laptops that will give you significantly better performance for the same price. The launch of 8th generation Intel processors brought to the market a lot of new laptops that outclassed previous models with their performance and even price. Let's take a look at Asus TUF FX504 that cost $1000. It has GTX 1050Ti, i7-8750H processor, 8GB of RAM and 256GB SSD. The difference in performance is going to be significant in video editing and CPU dependent games as the 8750H processor is about 40% better than 7700HQ. You also get faster RAM and bigger storage, but if it's not enough, you can always buy 2.5 inch drive and it will still cost less than VX15. Around $1000 price point, you can also buy Dell G3, Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 30 and 2017 model of Acer Predator Helios 300. All of these laptops come with i7-8750H processor and GTX 1050Ti except for Predator that has weaker CPU but better graphics card that is GTX 1060. Of course it's up to you whether you choose better graphics card over the processor or vice versa, but however here you have 4 laptops that perform better than VX15 and cost less. Keep in mind that the prices may vary with time. To keep up to date you can find the current prices of every laptop mentioned in this video in the description below. Alright, now if you're looking for the best value for your money, I have to mention the 2018 model of Acer Predator Helios 300 that is an absolute ruler of gaming laptop market this year. For $50 more than VX15 you get i7-8750H processor, GTX 1060 graphics card, insane 144Hz display with 98% of sRGB color reproduction, 16GB of RAM and 256GB NVMe SSD. This is a perfect choice for those who want to do some video editing without spending a lot of money. For gaming purposes the display is much more than enough and the specs allow you to run most of new games with high or very high settings at 1080p resolution. If you're interested with Predator Helios 300, you can watch the review plus comparison of both 2017 and 2018 models on my channel. I will also leave the links in the description. For around the same price as Acer VX15 you can also have HP Omen 15DC or Asus ROG Strix GL503 GE Hero Edition. Both laptops are equipped with the same processor, 16GB of RAM and the same storage volume. The difference is in performance as the HP Omen has GTX 1060 when Asus comes with the GTX 1050 Ti but it has better display that is 120Hz Full HD panel with 97% of sRGB color reproduction and 3 milliseconds response time. In fact Omen has an option to choose 144Hz display but this setup costs over $1400 so it doesn't fit to our price range. Alright, we already know the pros and cons of Acer Aspire VX15, we've seen the gaming benchmarks and we compared it to the competition's laptops so now let's share the closing thoughts. Acer Aspire VX15 is a solid built gaming laptop with the specs that allow you to play most of new games at 1080p resolution and up to high settings with smooth 60fps. The price of configuration that I was reviewing is unfortunately disappointing comparing to the competition's laptops with better performance and lower price. It's also hard to find entry level setup of VX15 with GTX 1050 and i5 processor which used to be a nice option for a budget gaming laptop for around $800. Now let me know in the comments what do you think about this laptop or which else would you buy instead. If you're interested with any laptop that I mentioned in this review, check out the video description for Amazon links. You can also check out my review of Acer Predator Helios 300 that currently gives you the best value for your money. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of reviews, it would be awesome if you consider subscribing. So please check out the previous videos to decide if the content is worth your subscription. As always I hope you found this review helpful and informative, if so leave thumb up or a comment. Thanks for your time and see you in the next review.